ڈاکٹر مارک ٹویرکلر د مسیحی رہبریت د پونتون بنیاد گزار او د خدای د آواز د جوان بدلون کې تدریس په حقلا معروف شخصیت ته هغه د نولس سوه دو نوی کال راهیسې د مسیح د وجود په حقلا او دا چې څرنګه د روح القدس د صمیمیت څخه ژوند وشي په شپږ برازمونو کې د پام وړ تدریس کړی دی د دې کورس په سلسله کې چې عنوان دی څرنګه د خدای آواز واورو نو مارک انجلی تخنیکونه او روزمره رویاګانې سره ګډوي تر څو تاسې په دې وتوانوي چې د خدای څخه راغلي افکارو باندې پوه او تصفیه یې کړئ او دا چې د خدای څخه سره دو اړخیزه تخلومي سفر شروع کړی او دا نه هم درس دی چې عنوان یې دو اړخیزه رویا لیکنه یا برسیرل لیکنه ده We want to welcome you back to this next session of How to Hear God's Voice. God is so passionate for you to hear His voice that He let His Son, Jesus Christ, die on Calvary. He wants to restore you and I to the Garden of Eden where every single day we can go for a walk with the Lord and hear His voice. And And my prayer is that through this series, that's what's happening in your life. Every single morning you're getting up and saying, Good morning, Lord, what do you want to say to me? And you spend at least five minutes just fixing your eyes on Jesus, tuning the flow, and journaling. Four keys to hearing God's voice. Quiet yourself down. Fix our eyes on Jesus. Tune to spontaneity. And journal. And we can say this. Hearing God's voice is as simple as Quiet yourself down. Fixing your eyes on Jesus. Tuning the spontaneity. And writing. It's a nice sentence to memorize. Because then when people ask you how to hear God's voice, you can give them a good, concrete answer. So in this session, we're going to talk about journaling or writing out our prayer time with God. The Bible is full of hundreds of chapters of journaling. The Psalms is 150 chapters of a man writing out his prayer time. The Zabur Kitab the Yaw Sulu Panzos Babunu Tsakhadak De Che Aga Yaw Shaks the Dwa Pawah Kilikale De. The book of Revelation is 22 chapters of a man writing out his dreams and visions for God. And all the prophets are examples of people writing out their two-way dialogue back and forth with God. And I used to think that I was full gospel because I spoke in tongues. And God said, Mark, you're not really full gospel, you're just fuller than you used to be. And he said, there's major sections, sections of scripture you've never begun to do yet. And so he asked me to begin to journal. And I'm asking you, will you begin to, begin to journal also? Now there's several values to journaling. And we've covered a couple of them already. Because when you journal, it lets you write in faith for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes. And then you can go back to your 
because you know that you can test the flow later on. Well, it tase poegi che tase jaryan the ruh rusta chakale shai. And because you can test it later, you don't have to test it while you're receiving it. No tase pedi khater che ruh jaryan rusta test kawai no do waqt the royal kani waqt ki mat test kawai. Because if you try to test while you're receiving it, you shut the door and you turn the, the voice of God off. Because those who come to God must come in faith. So journey lets me stay in the faith mode for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes. No likana the roya da da che the last the pinzel last the qoda para manga aram sara kinu paqi da wiman sara. And because of that I can receive an entire page from God. Aw pam de sabab bande man kawla shu che mukammal asaf ha da khuday sa pala sara wdu. People sometimes get one liners from God but with journaling you can get whole pages from God. Baaz wa khalak da khuday sa yaw khat ya yaw line plus bande rawdi magar roya likana ke ta se basta saf ha da khuday sa pala sara wdu shi likala shi. And journaling keeps my mind occupied it gives it something to do when I'm praying. No journalikana za mamax mashqul sati yo sara kawi kala ch dua kawm. Cuz my mind would like to do something. Wala ch mamax gwadi ch tsu kri. And if I just say shut up because I'm hearing the voice of God right now it doesn't shut up. Wala ka za chir tawar ta sirf wem ch uraksha az da khuday awaz awram no ga nawr ki gi. It says I'm going to sit there and critique every single word that comes and decide if it came from God or not. Wale che magza wai che zakinam ta sara aw gorum har ha galaga tawlas che da khuday na sar razi gorum che da khuday na razi aw kan razi. And I don't want my mind doing that cuz that'll move me into doubt and it'll cut off the flow. Aw zana gorum che zama magza da si ukri wale che da ma shak taraf ta biayi aw zama da roya katane jaryan bandigi. And so I say to my mind Why don't you help spell these words correctly? No, so the whole magzon a soal ko ma chewali da saram rasta na ke che da galogat sahi spell kam. And my mind's not very good at spelling, but it's happy to be helping. Magar zama de ma chede pa spelling ke khana de magar khushala de chim rasta ukri. And if it's helping, it's not sitting there critiquing. Aw chwaste chim magzon mera sara ko ma kawi no bia ma bani nazarat na sati. So journaling gets my mind on my side as a facilitator of spirit encounter and not a critiquer. No royali kana zama magh zama pa taraf barabar wi na che de muhtasib pa hais bani matakini aw da che de ruh sara zama magh magh kedal moyasara wi. Also journaling helps me recall them the, the the message from God after a period of time has gone by. Aw hamdara z royali kana de khuday sakha message na zama pa yaad bandi rawdi de der yaw mudat na che ter shwe ham wi. And it helps me persevere during periods of waiting. Aamdara the intezar pa dauran ke rasan rasta kewi tar so maqawim aw ba so ba ta patishum. Because in our journal God will say I'm going to do this today. Wale chiz mang par royal kana ke shayad khudai wai chiz nan da gashe anjamom. So what is God's definition of a day? No da khudai tarif daura ze tsanga de. It's a thousand years. Na zar kala da. So he's really saying I'm going to do this in the next thousand years. Aw ga wai chiz da in da zar kala la para ko. And I'd kind of forgotten that and I'd say to my wife Patty he's going to do it today. Oh my or raqam da yada u basal khpal khaz piti ta mewal che ga khuday bainan ukri. And he never did it today. Ab magar ga nan hech kala ona kada. And I would get so frustrated I'd throw my journal on the ground and I'd stomp on it. Zar de pakar bani hum aw khpal ro ali karam pas ma ko gor zola da pas pe khatam. And find I finally I realized God's definition of a day is different than mine. Aw bela khara da ma dar kra che da khuday da yi wrazi da istilahi mana che ko mada aga mukhtalif da. So how about if he says I'm going to do this soon? Aw da se wasanga che che khuday wai che za da zar ko. A guy who lives in eternity what is soon? Aw yo sara che pa abadiyat ke jwan kawi aga da para zar sa mana lari. How about the word quickly? The zar zar pa bara ke sa fikr kawi. I'm going to do this quickly. Chizazam da ba der zar wakram. The last time you used the word quickly was behold I come quickly. Akhiri zal bani chi sai masi da zar atlo lagat istemal kro agu wale chi matawji wo se zar razam berta. Quickly was 2000 years ago. Na ga zar atlo na chi masi wale wa 2000 kala makh ke wa. So don't assume, assume any of this means next week or next month. Oh that's mother ko che de ma na ba nawi hafta ya bala meshwi. It might not even happen in your lifetime. Shayad sta se patol jwan ke da waqi nishi. And uh, that bothered me. How the zo aziyat ka walam de masale. And I said God if I die and what you've said to me hasn't happened I'm going to look like a fool. No mal khudaya ka zo chirta umram aw haqa sachita ma tawili waqi nishi nizo ba yo ahmaq wasam. 
And God said, you won't be a fool. No, Khuday will chit ba ahmak na wasi. He said, if you die and, and my words to you have not yet come to pass. Oh, Khuday will ikat to chit marfi auzama ayatuna rikhtiyano shu sajwan ke. He said, I'll put you in Hebrews chapter 11 as a hero in faith. Agu will chit ba da ibranian da kitab pa yawlasam fasal ke ta da aqidee da hero pa shan u dakhil karam. And I said, hero of faith, that's a much better picture. Namal chit da aqidee hero da dir ghat anzor de. Because Abraham died in faith, believing that what God had said would happen. And it didn't happen till 1500 years after he died. And God is saying, I just want you to be in faith. Even to the day you die, just be in faith. All right, so what's the difference between journaling and New Age automatic writing? One lady who had been a New Ager, she got saved and she now journaled. And she showed me the difference. She said in automatic writing she would let her hand hang limp and a spirit would control the end of her hand. And in journaling what she would do is fix her eyes on Jesus, quiet herself down and receive impressions. And then she would choose to write those impressions out. So her whole being is involved in journaling. And just the end of her hand in automatic writing. All right, how about some practical suggestions for journaling? Journal when you're alert physically and spiritually. It can be morning, afternoon, evening, whatever works for you. And get yourself a spiral bound notebook that you can do your journaling in. Or you can do your journaling on computer if you want to. I have a directory on my computer called journaling. And I just start a new journal entry for every new day. And I'll put the date on for the journal entry. And I'll usually also put in the title the key theme of what we've talked about. And if I'm going to journal about one area for uh, several days or weeks, I'll start a subcategory for that area. Because a lot of times I'll work on one topic for several months. Uh, also, we encourage you to keep your journal secluded. Keep it hidden. Because we consider it private material. And so if I let my spouse read one page of journaling, she's only allowed to read that one page. She's not allowed to read any additional pages. And we never force people to share their journaling. We invite them to, but we never force them to. Because journals are private. And some of the stuff you might not be ready to share with everybody just yet. And so we honor that privacy. 
And if it's a really sensitive issue with a person's name in, you might want to put X, Y, or Z there. If you have a very sensitive issue with a person's name in, you might want to put X, Y, or Z there. If you have a very sensitive issue with a person's name in, you might want to put X, Y, or Z And maybe if it's really sensitive, you might want to tear the sheet of journaling out afterwards and throw it away. If you have a very sensitive issue with a person's name in, you might want to put X, Y, or Z there. If you have a very sensitive issue with a person's name in, you might want to put X, Y, or Z there. And grammar and spelling are not critical when it comes to journaling. No, the basirat ya roya likane po wakhi grammar or spelling kama bohrani mauzo nevi. You just go with the flow. Tas sir the ruh po jaryan ke dakhil shay. And afterwards, you can come back and fix the spelling and grammar afterwards. Be aurus ta chikalam likana wakra ta se kawale shay chhe daagi spelling or grammar sahi kray. And if there's scripture verses I want to put in, I do that afterwards. Na kacher ta kam ayat ham wii na agazab ke gurus ta beisha milaum. But while I'm journaling, I stay in the right side of my brain and I write for five or ten or fifteen minutes. Magar kala chizaro ya likana kaum zod khi maks pa koraba ne pate ke gama aur tarpin zod akho pori likana kaum parai rast. And then I'll go back to the left side of my brain and I'll critique it and fix the grammar and put the verses in. Aur us ta bi aza bir ta khpal chap taraf da maghzo ta zama da ghe spelling aur grammar aur ayatun atol pa kya chum aur sahi ko me. But I don't switch back and forth every minute. I pick a hemisphere and stay there for five or ten minutes. Magar am da royali kani po wakhi chap aur rasta maghzo ta maza izka chhe ta se baat pa yau taraf baane tar pinzo da khopar e paate shayi. We want you to date your entries. Zo gwaran chi tasi khpala royal ikani ta tarikh war kray. And we want you to include things that are really important to you. Aw gwaran chi haga shana ham pak dakhil kray kum chi tas da para der ahmiyat lari. Mostly your dialogue with God. Aw dar tol muhim haga khabare aw kalam chi da khuday sare man kaw. And God is going to cause our journalists to focus on faith, hope and love. Aw khuday ba zamanga journal da haga sa sabab kri che manga po aqida, iman, umed aw mohabbat ba ne tamarkuz ukru. 1 Corinthians 13:13 says now abide these three. Awal da Corinthians der lasam bab der lasam ayat wai che tasi pa de dre shayano ke pate shay. And the three are faith, hope and love. Aw agad dre shayan che kum di aqida, umed aw mohabbat te. So as people share their journaling You're going to find that Bill's faith, Bill's hope, and Bill's love in their hearts and other people's hearts. Notarangach khalak pali likale shwe royagani ya basiratuna tas sare shirikawi na stas ya qida ziyatigi aw stas ya umid aw mohabbat uzrunu ki de nur khalq la par ziyatigi. And we'd like you to have a good knowledge of the Bible so that as you journal, God can draw upon that knowledge. Aw kachire tas de injil khop ohana laray de journalikani wakh ke khuday pak tas aghi taraf tawri che aghi na kar wakh lay. And when you begin to journal, just write down the question you want to ask the Lord. Na kala chhe the royali kani shuru kawai ha ga sawal chhe tasa gwaade the Malik ne okre a galandi wule kai. For me, it's good morning, Lord. What do you want to say to me? Zama da para khoda se da chhe zayam sar da bakhair Malik a sa gwaade chhe mati wai. But don't stare at an empty sheet of paper. Magar khali wara ke da kagas ta mago rai. Because an empty sheet of sheet of paper says nothing. Wale che khali wara qada qaghaz hitsam no wai. But a question says answer back. Magar yo sawal jawab bir ta gwari. So write down something. Yo so wuli kai pre. And as you're learning the art of journaling, we recommend you do it every day. Aw kala che ta se the royali kani honar za kawai za ta sa sfarish kaum che har awrze okre. Until it becomes a part of your life. Aw tar ha ga waqta pore anjam kri tar sos ta se de zindagi yo hisa jode shi. That's called legalism and law. Aw de ta pa shariat ke qanun guzari wai. To say I have to do something every day. La ka chwai che har awraz baid ze so kram. And I put myself under law on two occasions. Za pa dua moqo ke zan de qanun ya shariat lan ra walam. One is when I'm trying to master a new skill. Yo che kal za gwaram che ono e maharat master ei ta warasam. I say Mark you will do this every day until it's a natural part of the who you are. Auzo an che Mark har awraz ba da ba ta da okre tar so pore ye wa hisa da deshi patavi ta aur sara che to choke. And once it becomes natural I go back to grace. Ye wa da che za bir ta faiz ke da khilegam. 
And with grace, I don't have to do it every day. او د فیض سره زه باید هره ورځ دا کار ونه کړم. I journal when I feel led to journal. زه هغه وخت کې رایه لیکنه کوم کله چې احساس وکړم چې ژورنال لیکنه رهبري کړم. And I encourage you to do, this, to do the same thing. او زه تاسو ته هم جرأت او زړورتیا درکوم چې هم دا یو شان ته شی وکړئ. Now I skip a line in my journal as I move from God speaking to me speaking. نو کله چې زه رایه لیکنه بس کوم یو یوه کرخه پریږدم او بیا زنی بس کوم. And I also go back and reread the last journal entry just to make sure that I obeyed it. او کله چې بیا شروع کوم اخری کر خپخوانی رویالیکن نلولم په دې خاطر چې متوین شم چې اطاعت می کړی دی. One day I said to God I said God what do you want to say to me today? یو ورځ ما خدای ته ویل چې خدای څه غواړي رانه چې نن در تن جام کړم. He said I'd like you to do what I told you to do yesterday. نو هغه ویل چې زه غواړم چې ته هغه څه وکړې کوم چې ما تا ته پرون ویلی وو د کولو یې. So I went back and I reread yesterday and said yes lord. No zabirta paronero ya likane talara momilo sta mawel che wo malika. So I review my journal when the notebook is full and I put a summary in the front of the next journal. No zakh pal journal likana tikrarawa ma aw khulasa pa makh ke double journal likam. Because in a 100 page journal you and God are going to talk about the same Four, five, six things over and over and over again. While it's a sal waraka royal, can I keep a chodai? Tase the salur ya pinzish pago mazoato pahakla bani ab dobara 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 khabari wakri. In my first journal, God told me at least fifty times, Mark, love your wife. Aazma pa awal royal, can I keep a chodai pak panzo zal tamatu yele che Marka khpali khaze sara mohabat wakra. He told me at least fifty times, Mark, don't be so judgmental. Aw hagara ta so zali yele panzo zali che. مارک قضاوت کی گما ان ہی ٹول می ایٹ لیسٹ 100 ٹائمز مارک ویل یو پلیز ٹرسٹ می او اگر تا شاید 50 زلے والی چ مارک پما بانی با اعتماد وکڑی کز آئی سٹرگل وت ڈاؤٹ نان بلیف دیٹ آل دس سٹف واز ریل والے چ ما پر شک او بی ایمانی سر کوشش کرو پر ٹول اگ شیان بانی چ واقعی ہو ان ہی بیگ می ٹو ٹرسٹ ہم او ہا گل ماتا عذر زاری وکڑ چ پی اعتماد وکڑم And I said, "How sick is this?" Oh, my Lord, that sumra bada kar de. He's my creator, my sustainer. He's begging me to trust him. Wale chya gaz ma khudaay aur takhlik kaun kare de? Aur agar ma toh zor zari kewi chya gaz e tema do kram. And it broke my heart that I didn't trust him. Agaz ma zor mat ko ma pi e tema do na kar. Now, if I can learn to love my wife and trust the Lord and not be judgmental. No ko us da zda kram chya pole khaz e sar mahabat o kram pa malik ban iman walaram aur kazaoti na shum. Then in my next journal we can talk about something else. And if I can't learn those three things, guess what we're going to talk about in the next journal. We're going to talk about the same three things. God is trying to get it from my head to my heart. And I'd like to master new skills. Also, I want to match the new maharatuno mastery workram. I'd like to learn lessons so I can move on in my life. So, I want to that soon as that kram tarso makhilarsham pojwan ke. The Israelites couldn't learn to trust God. Israelianu das dana kri chupa khuda yatimadu kri. God said He tested them ten times in the wilderness, and they wouldn't trust Him. Khuda yawaich chilas zale ma Israelian pa dash to ke imtihan kri, magar agui pa ma yatimadu na kri. And so they never got to the promised land. Now I is wa kha aga sarzamini maud ta na rasida. Now I'd like to get to the promised land. Maga zo was gwaram chi sarzamini maud ta rasiga. And you want to get to the promised land. Aw ta se hamam da she gwari. We would like promised land marriages. Manga da maud is maki wadu na gwaru. Where our husband and wife are completely fulfilled by each other. Kom zay ke chakhze aw khawandan pe yobal ke mukammal aw takmil shividi. We would like promised land finances. Aw manga baad the maud is maki maliy la staraudu. Where we can lend and not borrow. Chir ta chamanga qarz war kawle shu lekin qarz na khlu. We would like promised land health. Manga the maud is maki sehat pa kar laru. Where we live in vibrant health into old age. Chir ta chamanga the zorwali pa larzidun ke umar ke usigu. And if we keep circling the same mountain and not learning lessons then we're not going to get to the promised land. Aw kachir ta manga da maga yo gran agar chapira chakar wo hu tawigu aw darsuna khpal nazda ko do ibrat no maud izme ketan rasigu. So one of my strategy to master lessons is to put summaries in the front of the next journal. Yo zama da strategy na sakhada da che zakhpal darsuna master ko am no da gay pa makh ke summary likam. Darsuna matlab da har roya pa makh ke summary ya khulasa likam. And I say Mark read this and get it so we can move on to something else. Auzan tawam ch Mark ka da wal wala zdekra tar so to kawle shi royal likana ke makhtalar shi. 
So I found that every time I've asked the Lord for a date in my journal, the dates have always been wrong. No, ma da kashav krachar kala mi dokhda na tarikh ho to mashakhas tarikh daro alikan la para aga galat ho to. And I'm going to encourage you to skip dates in your journal. Aw ta sta ham tashwiq dar kaum che po ro alikan ke da tarikh sakha u farar ukri. Because I don't think God really wants to give us dates. Wale che khuday na gwadi mung da tarikh rakri. He says, "Mark, just trust me." Aga wai che mar ka sir pa ma bani te ma do kara. And I said, "God, when is this going to happen?" No, zo pachtan kum che khuday da bato akwa kishi. He said, "Soon." Aga wai zar bo shi. And I said, "Well, you and I both know soon means nothing to you because you live in eternity." No, be azo arta im che khuday azo auto duara padi bani puyi gu che the zar matlab hi sam na de zaka jita badiat ke osegi. So when's it going to happen? No, so I would have wished. He said, "Just trust me." I always said, "For my eternal doctor." I say, "When's it going to happen?" Beaz or time to so I would have shown you really do what he did. He said, "September 1st." I always the September Paola or as many. I said, "Thank you." No, I am man and a Malika. Nothing's ever happened on September 1st that my journal said would happen on September 1st. It's what he hit some the September Paola when he was in issue. I was a matter of like any way that the September Paola. But I was happy till September 1st, and I was mad again. No, so the September that all the poor Hoshala Maria no Rusta be able to finish him. So I've learned to skip dates. No, my dad's the crutch by the Tarikhuru na parezo kram. I found people have shipwrecked their faith over dates. Magam ma dasi khalak ham uli do che po royali kena ke da tarikh pa khutan es bande da ma te kishte pa shan shu. One man who I know felt that God told him his house would sell by August 29th. Ya o shakhs che zai pe janam khudai war ta wali che sta kor ba August pa na hishta ma tarikh bande kharch shi. And that would be a sign that he should move to Florida. Aw da ba da di alamati che aga bai da Florida ayalat talat shi. His house did not sell by August 29th. The haga kor the August pato na hishtam tarikh kharch na sho. And he moved to Florida anyway. Magar haga bia ham Florida ala talaro. But his faith was shattered. Magar da haga iman zara zara shwe wo. And so he did not attend a spirit filled church. Aw haga yo do ruh na dak kalisa ham no attend kari. And 30 years later he still does not attend a spirit filled church. Aw dirsh kalo rus ta bia ham haga do ruh na dak kalisa no entikhab kari ya war gale no. He suffered shipwreck of faith. Haga da mati kishte pashan bande da aqide dar do hale wo. Let's look at a biblical example of a date. Raze da tarikh pa hakla da injili misal dar to waim. Jonah gets a prophecy for Nineveh. Jonah the Nineveh the para yo pesh gui tarla sakade wa. He says in 40 days God is going to destroy you. Agor ta eli che pasalwe khraz ke ba khudaye ta takhrib aw wijar kri. Now that's a date. Was da yo tarikh de. Of course in 40 days God didn't destroy him. No, albata che pasalwe khraz ke aga takhrib aw wijar nasho. So does that mean Jonah is a false prophet? No, the de mana da che Jonah yo galat nabi u. Was that a false prophecy? Aw ya in abuat galat o? Not really. Aqiqat ke da se no. Because the people of Nineveh repented so God changed his mind. Wale che de Nineveh khalq to ba wis ta khuda khpal tasmim ta taghir ya badlun war kar. And that's why dates don't work very well. Aw pam de wa ja ban de pa royal ikano ke tarikh kar na kavi. Because they're based on people's responses back to God. Aw wale che aga de khalq o jawabun o ban de pa bir ta war kawal o sara khuda ta usto war de. And if people respond one way, God responds one way. Okala che khudai pa yo la jawab ar kawi, khudai ham pa yo la jawab ar kawi. If they respond a different way, God responds a different way. Okala che khalq pa mukhtalif la khudai ta jawab ar kawi, khudai pa mukhtalif jawab ar kawi. Which means everything's in flux. The kum matlab che da de har sa pa yo la di. So I'm going to ask you skip dates. Nazat as ta waima che da tarikh ko sa pare zo kri. I don't want you to suffer shipwreck of faith. Zana gwaram chita se de kishte pashan mat iman sakha ranjwe se. Also I would ask you to journal in the area that God has given you authority and responsibility. Aw da ham dar na tawqo laram che haga sa ke royal ikna ho ke pa haga sa ke che khudai dar ta salahiyat aw masuliyat dar kade wi. Greater accuracy is going to be found there. Aw ali tarina durusti ba hal ta paida ki gi ta sta. So if you're a parent, journal for your your children, journal for your spouse. No katase walidaini as polo khazo aw mashuman da para roya katani awlikani wakri. If you're a businessman, journal for your business. Aw katase chira tajarat pesha asai da khol tajarat pa hakla bani roya wakri wilikai.
If you're a musician, journal out your music. Aukachi re tazi honar man ya sei da khol honar man dei pa saha ke roya ugore ya wili kai. If you're an artist, journal out your artwork. Now karasam ya sei da khol rasamai pa hak la roya ugore ya wili kai. I'm a teacher in the body of Christ so I journal out 60 books. Zo da masih wujud tadris kaum aw mash pete kitaba wili kal. Now let's come to an area of danger and warning. Raze che da khatar aw akhtar ye wi sahi tarashu. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 3. Awal da ayat. 1 Corinthians 14:3 tells us prophecy comes for three different reasons. Da qarantiyan swar la sam fasl dreem ayat mang tawai chi nabuwat pa dre mukhtalifu dalilun bani razi. And I think when you and I journal it's like a personal prophecy God is speaking prophetically to us. Awza fikr kom chi kala manga royali kana kau no da yo shakhsi nabuwat wi aw khuday mang sara pa nabawi tawar bani khabar kawi. So he says prophecy comes for edification, exhortation and consolation or peace. Aw khuday wai yi chi nabuwat ya peshguyi da tahzib, shauq, tasalli ya sulh tsakharazi. How about if you restrict your journaling to those three categories? Aw sabo shi kata se da de dre kategoriyan da par khpal royali kana mahdood akde. You will find your journaling will edify, it will build you up. Ta se bo gore je sta se royali kana tahzib aw tazki ki gina ta se bapor ta ulashi. You find it will exhort you. God will say love this person. Aw ya ta se gore je tashwiq ki gaye zaka jo khuday der tawai da shakh sar mahabbat akde. And you find you'll find it'll console you and give you peace. Aya shayad tas ta mashwara dar ki aw tasi ta aramish rawli. Guys is Mark it's okay your sins forgiven let's press on. No khudai wai ch Mark asta guna ba khal shwe da raza ch makhtal arshu. In those three areas your journaling is a priceless gift. No poda gadre sa ho ke sta so royali kana ch kum da bi qeemat tawfidi. Now what's outside those three areas that you should stay away from? No the de dress sa ho sa khabirun chi shedi chi mang bai zani par he zukru. Predictive guidance is outside those three areas. Pish gui kre shwe lar khone de da sa ho sa khabar di. I'm going to recommend that you stay away from the area of predictive guidance. Za ta sta sparaktana de de kaum chi ta se de ghaibi lar khon ko sakha zan na lare wasate de ghaib wo lo sakha. Will this marriage get healed? Should I take this job? Should I invest in this stock? La ka chwa ya ya zama wa do ya da wa do ba do wa mu kri da wazif wa waqlam kana aw ya za pa di ambar ki paise wo lagaum ka we na lagaum da tajarat paisa ki. Those are all predictive guidance questions. Aw dar tol de ghaibi lar khono ya lar khono la para swaluna di che ghaib pa kewel ki. And that's outside the three primary categories of prophecy. Aw hamda de dre nabawi aw ibtidai peshgiyano kategoriyano tsakha birun di. And maybe a mature prophet in the office of prophet can do predictive guidance and maybe it'll work for them. Magar shayad ya aw rasidale nabi de khpal nabuwat pa daftar ki wo kawle shi che ghaibi lar khon ki peshguyi kri wa ghaib la para kar okri. But if we're not mature prophets in that office it probably is not going to work very well. Magar ka chirta rasidale nabi nawi no da ghida para sahi kar na kawi. And so I've chosen not to use my journaling for predictive guidance questions. No ma da intikhab kare je khpar royali kana da ghaibi wa na pesh kwe la para wana kar aw. So then how would I make those kinds of decisions? No zuba bia haga se tasmimuna tsaranga unisum. Well there's I would use a multiplicity of ways that God can speak to us. Zuba de ziyate anwa waqsam de laro karom tar so khuday ma sar khabari u kawle shi. I have a list of at least 6 different ways that God can speak to us. Zada shpak mukhtalif o laro de khuday sar de khabar kawlo list laram. And for predictive guidance questions I'm going to use that whole list of all six ways aw da gab da wayna aw lar khon la para ba zad tol shpa guliya ro sakha kar waqlam pa kar ba wachom one way that god can speak is through illumined scripture ye wala ra ch khuday pre muk sara khabar kawi ha gad mujallal ayatun po wasilawi that's verses that just leap off the page and hit you between the eyes kom che da kalam da qiraat po waqt ke pa khpal zamung star go tara top kawi Another way that God can speak to us is through illumined thoughts in our mind, anointed reasoning. Aw aw balalar ch khuday pe mung sara khabar kawi haga mujallal afkar di ch zamung pe zehn ban razi aw kam che barakati dalilun di.
Another way that God can speak to us is through discernment in our heart. That would be peace versus unrest or uneasiness. Another way that God can speak is through the counsel of other people. And I mean counsel that comes from their hearts, not from their heads. Because I don't really want anything that comes from anyone's head. Another way that God can speak is through helping me understand what life is saying back. The Bible says I can test things by their fruits. So what is the fruit of life saying back to me? If I'm thinking of moving from my city, what's life saying? Are there no more jobs in my city? Are there jobs in the city I'm thinking of moving to? These are the kinds of things I'd be looking for. What is life speaking back? And the sixth way that God can speak is through dreams and visions and journaling. So if I have a major decision, I want all six to line up and say go. And if it's a predictive guidance thing, I'd like all six to line up and say go. So I don't use my journaling alone for major or predictive guidance decisions. All right, now one final principle. And that's that all prophecy and everything God says is conditional. And it's based on man's response back to God. In Ezekiel 33, verses 13 and following, God says, if I say concerning the nation, I will pluck it up because of its wickedness. And that nation repents, I'll repent of what I said. And I'll bless the nation. If I say I'm going to bless the nation because of its righteousness, and that nation does wickedness, I'll repent of what I said, and I'll curse the nation. So God is saying that everything we have in, written down in our journals, is flexible based on our response back to God. So if God says, I have healed your body, that's a great journal entry. And I would say, hooray, thank you, Jesus. And I would stand up and try to make my body function in the area that it didn't function in before. But in addition to that, I, I know that everything's conditional. Because we just read the verse. Everything God says He do, does is based on my response. So I'd say, God, are there any conditions you would like me to meet so that my body could be healed. And I'd say, 
And in my journal, he says, "Yes, Mark, I want you to forgive those people who hurt you so badly." Na zama par ya likhe na ki shayad Khudaay ma tuwe chhu wo Mark ka zawar lam haga ka san chitti dir bad zakhmi kare ho kare hi wo bache. Because if I don't forgive, then it puts toxins in my system and it ruins my health. Wo le kaze chhir tuwe am chizi na ba ham no da ba yo kisam na shawar shayi na zama par system do ujud ke waache yo zama sehat barbadavi. And so I say, "Fine, I can forgive him." Na zawa am chhu wo Khudaay ma na me auze ba ham khalak. And I might use inner healing prayers, so the forgiveness is very deep. Na zakhpal daruni shifai dua kaum dir gar kab na chagi khushi, awo bakhal shi. And I, I do believe. Here's another principle I believe. Yo bal asas samsh ta zapi bawar laram. And it took me years to see this. Dir kaluni azmat khawni ulchi dao goram. I believe that I don't get everything directly from God myself. Awo zapadi bawar imchi har shi barayras zada khudai na last na raudam. God says in the multitude of counselors are safety it's not just standing alone. Ah zaka ch khudai wa ch the dear mashawirun pa larul ke hifazat de nat pa zanta ke. So he doesn't give me everything myself he gives part of it through my counselor. Ah aw pam de khatar khudai ma ta har sa barai ras na ra kawi balki dear he say zama de mashawirun sa khara kawi. And I journal and ask the Lord why he didn't give everything to me myself. Aw kala ch zili kana kawm na de khudai na da pakhta na kawm ch wale tol shi na ma ta na wai. He said Mark he said if I told you everything you needed yourself No way to Mark che har sa che zata tu em che to ta zarurat lare and you didn't need the other the other people in the body of Christ to give you stuff Aw to nor khalq ta de masi po wujud ke ta ta shayan dar ki zarurat ona lare He said you would separate and splinter from other people in the body of Christ Aw to nor mil tu no cha khal rajala ka de masi wujud por be share kram So he said I'm not going to tell you all of it I'm going to tell you a part of it No agawai ch mar ka zaba ta ta tol no ai am balki yo hisay ta ta ai And other parts are going to come from other your three spiritual advisors Aw da ga hisay ch kum di de dre nor mashawirin cha kharazi So I go to one of my advisors in the area of health and he says Mark if you want to be healthy you should take these herbs. No zo khpal sihi mashawir tazam aw gawai marka katwaari ch sehat mand wasi da sabzijat wo karawa. And that's fine God gave herbs for the service of mankind I can to do that. Aw da kha khabar da khudai sabzijat da insan da parawar kidi di azi kawalesham. I go to another spiritual advisor and he says Mark you need to exercise. Zab bal pal rohani mashawir tazam aw agar ato ich marka to exercise ya sport ta zarurat lari. What's fine fine I can exercise and get my body moving. An zor tam ch dadera kha khabar da zakawala sham ch pal wujud to khaza. Cuz if we keep our body moving we're much healthier. Wale ch kam pal wujud wo khaza wo aw warzish kro no der sehat mand ki go. I go to my third Spiritual advisor says Mark you really do need to eat properly. No bal mashawir ta chu warzam agawai ta bai sahi gaza okhre. Now I don't like that guy very much cuz he's in the diet and that's why I don't like him. No zo de shakh sara dera dera no kho khamza ka chaga da gaza pak la khabar kai. But he said Mark did you need to eat something like the Daniel diet or the Genesis diet or something like that? Na gawe marka to baid the paidaish ya Daniel ya the the nur kitabun us kho khore khorak okre. I mean Daniel eat eight fruits veggies and water and his skin glowed. Wale che Daniel mewa aw sabzijat khoro aw obech kali. And your skin glows because your body's healthy. Aw sta poste ke ham mujallal de zakat se hat mande. Now if I receive the counsel of all three of these people and act on it. No kaza de de dre ka sano mashwari last taraudam aw pe amal okram. Plus I receive my own journal own journaling and act on that. Aw haga journaluna aw realikani che ze last taraudam pa ge ham amal okram. Plus I say hurray thank you for healing me God. Aw da che ze hurra waim aw manana de masi sakha kawam. Do you think I have a better chance of being healed? I at as fikr kawe chiz ba kh chance da kh behtar wali walaram. Then if I just said her right thank you for healing me. Aw ya da chiz sirf zanta wem chi hora manana masid shifa baina. I think I have a better chance of being healed. Za fikr kom chiz kh chance da de laram chiz kh shifa ba shoyam. And so this is the approach that I use. No da ga taqarrub de che ze karom. And this is the approach that I'm going to suggest you to use also. Aw da ha ga taqarrub de che taste ham tajwiz kom che ve karoi. Yes, you have a wonderful new hotline from God, but he's not going to give you everything through that one hotline. Oh, ta se yo line ya kar khada khuday se khalare magar har se khuday pa ga yo kar kha ke taste na takmile ne dar kai. So how about if we close and you just do some journaling? No razi ch ikhtitam markdu aw lasal royal royal ikna wkdu. 
How about just a wide open question? Lord, what do you want to say to me? So why don't you write that on a sheet of paper? Lord, what do you want to say to me? And then I want to give you about Five minutes after you turn the tape off where you just journal and write down what God is saying. And then when you're done journaling, just share it with some people in your group. Read your journaling to them. And let them confirm it's God. And then let a few people come to the front of your room and just share their journey with everyone. So you get alone with Jesus in a scene that's comfortable for you. Just put a big smile on your face. Let Jesus put his arm around you and just hold you tight. And just get alone with Jesus and just write for five minutes. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you speak into each of our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are excited to share two more samples of journaling with you. And we have Spurgeon and Sunil with us today. And it's good to have you here. And uh, Spurgeon, we're going to start out with you. Uh, the journaling that you're going to share with us, did it happen in the first week of your journaling, was it? Or yes, sir. First week of your journaling. Yes. Uh, so how about if you share with us the question you asked the Lord and what he said back? When I was doing this uh, journal, I could not concentrate uh, on God. Mm-hmm. Uh, but later I concentrated. And I asked God, What do you want to say to me? And he said, Lord, son, don't be despondent. Zuya, now me the kegama. I am with you. I am the one who can rescue this world. You have to live in this world. Just like a fish of sea. The water of sea is salty. But fish never observe. Fish only observe life from water. Likewise in this world, sin is everywhere. You have to observe life rather than sin. If you will live like that, I will give you the eternal life which will never perish. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's give my hand, those who are watching. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Spurgeon. It's 100% God. So you are connected, you're doing the right thing. Amen. Amen. Sunil, how about uh, what did you ask the Lord? What did he say to you? Sunil, it was the second day of my journal. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I took my pen and paper. Mahpal kalam aur kagaz rawa khisht. And I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Amal ji malik ka chakwaadi chizay wakram. I was very much excited. The dear war khatao. And I I I told the Lord. Mama malik to wale. Lord, I am your precious child. Zasta kiymati maashu me malik ka. Yesterday I learned that you are always with me. Parun madas dakra chita hamesha masarai. And I saw you yesterday. Amat parun wale de. And today also you are with me. Ananta ham masarai. And my question what what you want me to do for you? Auzama swarda de chizata da paraso wakram. And I saw myself as a 7 or 8 year old child. Namak palzan do wakalan atakalan mashum pashan wulit. And I could see the smiling on his face. Auma kawale shuche khanda da haga yani da masif pa mokhogorum. Ah he told me. Agar ate wele I'll just read it for you. Zabe sirf tata wol walam chisi wele. Dear child, zama meharban amashuma. You are lost but now you are found. To urakwe magar to us paida kare shwe we. You were dead but now you are alive in me. To marwe magar us pa ma ke jwande. Do you know I gave my everything to get you back? To poye ke chimaq pal har sawar kar tar so tabir talas taraudam. As you became my obedience child, la katanga chita zama etaat ko unke amashum shwe. and learning to love me and spend time with me how that is the catch ma sara mina okre wakhra sara ter kri yes i have some work for you wo zasta da para baaje kar laram i was excited to know zar der war khataam che baat pe pochim che sakaro before i could say anything makhe de dena che zar yo so wa am a jesus again smile and said masi dobara wa khandal ma ti weli don't worry o fikr mand ma osa Uh, you will not do any work but i will do it for you tab uh, hai karo na kare magar zis ta da paran jamo i asked the lord ma da malik sa khaw pakhtal lord what is that work it all about a uh, malik da kar tol da sa pakh la de then jesus replied no masira tabir ta jawab ra kar child mashuma do not be excited about work da kar pakh la ne garan ke gama I have already told you. Mama ke ta tu ele. My yoke is easy. Agwel che zama qalba asana da. And my burden are light. Azama bar ham spak de. Just be in my presence. Sirf zama pa huzur ke osa. Then he told me. Bia agama tu ele. It is not time to discuss about the work. Dai wakh na de che da kar pa hakla bani bah sukdu. I have just found you after a long time. Ma da der wa khurusta ta paida kare. I want to spend time with you. Zagana ta sara wa khter kadam. The work will just happen. Kar ba pakhpala wa kishi. You know I decide and thing exist. Ta poye ge che za tasmim ne sam aw shayan pakhpala wujud tarazi. I speak and thing creates. Za khabar kom aw shayan pakhpala bande maujudi ki. So don't worry about the work. Na da kar pakhla ba ne khabar ma kawa. You do whatever you see me doing. Tahaga karo ka kum chiz ko manjamo me. I have seen you struggling a lot. Ma to wali de ch der koshish ho jaj jaj de kawa. Because you will never look at me. Wale chita hai tu akhma ta na katal. You will work of your own. Wale chita pa khpala bande kar kawa. I would keep I would keep up keep on looking at you. Ma ta ta katal modawam ta aur bane. But you will you will not even once look at me. Magar ta ba yau zal ham ma ta na katal. Busy working hard. तो अब मसरूफी और साक्षार बदी का वो. Finally no result. न बिलाखर आगे न कम नतीजा हम न रतला. Then I told Jesus. न बिया माँ मसीह तो हुए ले. Jesus I'm really sorry about it. न मार दे जब मसीह बखन आवारम. Ah uh, I know I hurt you. जब पहले कम चिमाता तो सदमा रस वो ले. Then Jesus replied. Oh, that's okay. Ah, da kam khabar na da. 
I have already forgiven you. Ma mag kina taba kalay. Do you know I have given my righteousness to you? To po yek chima akpal adalat aw sadaqat ta ta dar kade. I have given you the garment of righteousness. Aw da chima ta ta dirikhlen walay kali dar kadi. So let's not take up. Talk about your mistake or sin. Raze chista de guna aw chista de shte baat paak la khabari unu kuro. When you are asking me about your work, kala chita mana dakhpal kar paak la pakhta ne kae. Just do what I say. Sir faqa wo kare chizay dar tawaye. Because when I say, wale chikala chiza khabari kaom. Think creates. Ash shayan takhlik kigi. And do what I do. Aw haqa karo kare chizay kaom. Because I am the one who make everything. वाले जिस हाँ का शख्स जब चाहे हर सो हर शहर जोड़े। One thing I want to let you know. हाँ यह शहर जो गवार्म चित्त पे पोषे। It is not you will be doing the things. आगा बताने चाहे शहीन जोड़े भी और तखलीक कवि। But your heavenly father. आगा बस्ता आसमानी प्लार भी। Your friend. स्ता अंडीवाल। Your beloved. स्ता महबूब। I am. I will do it through you. जब ऐस्ता पोषिला बने जाम करम। Work is not your concern. कार स्ता तश्वीश न दे। It is my concern. कार का वो ना जमा तश्वीश दे जे कोम. I will fulfill my plan through your life. जब अख़पल प्लानों ना स्ताद जुआन पोवसीला बाने तकमील करम. As you spend time with me. आ चंगे चित्तो मासर अख़पल वक़्त तेरा वे दो वक़्त पतेरे दूसरा. Your heavenly Father Jesus. स्ताद आसमानी प्लार मसी. Everyone should give him a hand. हर यो दे द पार चक्चा क्यों है? Sunil, thank you for sharing that. Sunil, the day the sharing call is coming, na. I really thank God. So, wakyan, Khuday na mamnuniyam. And once again, I want to thank you, Dr. Mark. Now, so, biyata na mamnuniyam, ma Dr. Marka. Thank you for helping me to meet my friend, my lover, my father. Ah, mana na che masar dimras tau kratar sohpal dos au plar au mahbub sara malakishum. You are welcome. Dear, Kharaglas, Moshkil Nisht. And to each person who is watching, I'd like to say this. Aw hara gashaks chida video guri zogaram chida ortho waim. The Lord is a wonderful counselor. Khodai paak Malik chikum de Ali mashawir de. And he's given us tremendous counsel in these journaling sessions. Aw hagi mangta Ali mashwari de de royali kani po salsala kira kiri de. He refocuses our priorities even. Aw haga zamanga pa kadamo ba ni hatta tamarkus kavi. And I found that as I journaled, he transformed my life. Aw ma da kashf krakala chimaro yali kena kawala hage zama juan tabadlu nuar kard. And I promise you, if you'll journal for three to six months, he will transform your life also. Aw zo tas saraham wada kaum kata sero yagani aw basiratuna wuli kal pashpag meshte ke basta so juan ham badlu nu momi. So I pray for God to bless and anoint you as you journal this week. Nazar Khudaat ada doa kaum chida di afte po tul ki kalash taso royali kena kawai tas ta barakat dar kri aw taso do barakat pati logot kri. God bless you. Khudaat di barakat dar kri. Amen. Amen.